I try to keep you guys updated on the WhatsApp channel about all important stuff, but I'm making this video because a few of you have asked me to. I'll try to keep things as easy and simple as possible. Let's start from the day when we got the news about Tail. Summarizing all the information and reports we've gotten so far, he assaulted a girl, planted a camera in her phone, threatened her about her mother who was hospitalized, hacked into her phone and removed the evidence, and he's been getting away with it for the last six years. You might have heard that the victim is a minor which is not true. The police has stated that the victim is an adult woman, however she is said to be born in 2006, which means that she was a minor when this happened, but as soon as she turned into an adult, she went to police and reported everything to them. According to the police, the case was reported in June 2024, and he has been under investigation since June of this year. In a statement shared with KBS, the police confirmed that Tae was booked for unspecified S crime back in June 2024 and has been under investigation since then, but no further details were shared by the police, but SM Entertainment first learned about Tae crime scandal in mid-August. In a statement shared with media outlet Newsom, SM Entertainment claimed that the company first learned about Tae crime scandal in mid-August, leading them to make their decision to remove him from NCT. They said that both the company and Tail first learned about the indictment in mid-August. Tail was questioned by the police on August 28, but police has stated that Tail has been undergoing investigation since June, which has confused everyone. Which means either SM is lying or maybe they were actually unaware of Tail getting investigated by the police. Netizens are angry at Tail for attending a fan sign event even when he was under investigation. NCT Smart and Hei Chan's schedules and Jae Hyun's solo debut has been postponed due to this issue. Another thing that is the center of the attention is victim's Instagram account. She posted this in February 2024 and this in June 2024. 80,000 people are following her, but she posted something that confused netizens. She posted a sketch of Tae Il on August 30th and wrote, "Moon Tae Il, I drew your face on your birthday last year, and in 2018, I drew it with a happy heart." You stole my heart. Netizens commented that they're confused about her caption and they can't understand what she's trying to say or do. Now here's my take on this. It's possible that the victim was Tail's fan. She said that she drew his sketch in 2018, which was six years ago. It is possible that she drew his face when she was his fan, because she shared another picture where the sketch was ruined. But it's still unclear why she drew his sketch last year. Some have raised questions if it's actually the victim's account or not. On the other hand, a very important yet baseless issue that is being discussed among K-pop stands is the involvement of 200 idols in the nth room. Now what is nth room? Nth room is the infamous term for an illegal chat room, where certain individuals gather to share highly exploitative and explicit content involving women or underage girls. The chat rooms are also notorious for involving violence, abuse, blackmail, and many other heinous acts. Some netizens mentioned a rumor alleging that Tay Il case may just have been the start and that over 200 idols might also be involved in the illegal nth room, but both of these news are false, there's no such thing as involvement of 200 idols in the nth room and Tay Il is not related to the nth room case. In fact, there is a creepy fact about 200 female K-pop idols that will send chills down your spine, the thing is that 200 plus female idols are found in deepfake P videos. According to a Security Hero report shared by the Wall Street Journal, South Korea is the most vulnerable country to deepfake S crimes. The report found that of nearly 96,000 videos from 10 deepfake P sites and 85 deepfake channels on video sharing platforms analyzed over two months, 53% of the individuals appearing in deepfake P graphy were Korean singers and actors. Several tweets on X have spread awareness of these deepfake sites, created for female K pop idols. One website, in particular, features the names of over 100 female idols from nearly every generation of K-pop, including several fifth-generation groups. The deepfakes are p-graphic, showing idols' faces imposed over pre-existing S content or real photos of the stars edited to appear nude. The site has been continually updated, featuring new images uploaded today. JYP has directly addressed this issue and stated, We are gravely concerned about the spread of deepfake videos involving our artists. This is a ball ant violation of the law and we're in the process of collecting evidence to pursue the strongest legal action with a leading law firm without leniency. This is the summary of what has happened yet. I hope I didn't miss anything. You can join my WhatsApp channel to get all the important updates. The last thing I want to say is, no matter if you're an adult or a minor, please be safe and if anything false happens, don't keep it to yourself.
tell your friends, family, or anything you trust, please stay safe and protected.